Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and I'm so excited for today's video, you guys. And by the way, the brows, you ever just have one of those days where you're just like, like I quit, <laughs> like the brows, and like my hair, this is not how I plan to look for the whole day, but I was like gonna get a headband, and like, and I was like, you know what, my hair already is up here besides, like I'm kung fu fighting, it's not even a big deal. So let's go ahead, wow, that was a stretch. Um, let's go ahead and jump in to today's video, you guys. Like I said, I'm super excited because I love new products or similar products from new brands. I'm just excited. So today we are talking about these Hourglass Little Cream Shadows. They are called the Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadows, and they released five of these. They are $29 a piece. They come in these adorable little glass components as such, and a lot of people, I'm assuming, are already making the connection. Um, are they similar to or have any relation to the Tarte paint pots? Now I have went ahead and swatched all five of the Hourglass shades over here and I did go through my uh, Tarte paint pot collection which is um, about ten deep now, two, four, six, eight, nine, there's like nine or ten, I don't know if I'm missing some but I got so many. And I went through those, I swatched a bunch, they're over here and that way I could kind of compare them to you guys if you were like, hey is this similar to this shade? I did go through my collection and kind of pull the what I thought were the similar shades. So let's go ahead. We're going to jump in to obviously put some on the eyes. That's a given. But I also want to talk about the formula, what these are supposed to do, how they how they swatch, how they look, feel, all that good stuff. So let's start off with the Hourglass website, which is where I bought these. That's where these are currently available. They are $29, like I said before. And in the description, these are defined as a weightless refined glitter eyeshadow infused with light reflecting pearls to create high impact sparkling eyes. The unique hybrid cream formula creates reflective buildable dimension for everything from a delicate glimmer to an intense prismatic finish. And then under how to use, it says using fingertips, apply glitter eyeshadow over eyelid. Layer formula to build intensity, replace clear disc before recapping lid. So that's also something we are going to get into here in a second. Um, I do want to touch on the amount of product you get. In these, they come with 0.12 ounces of product as opposed to the paint pots which come with 0.11 so you actually and that was something that really shocked me you get a little bit like 0.12 0.11 Look at the size of this container and the overall heft of a Tarte Cream paint pot. I honestly thought this had double the amount of product in it that this one did. And in reality, not the case. Now, these are only $22 from Tarte, um, and these are $29. So, obviously, these are quite a bit more. They're $7 more expensive. But just, you know, optical illusions are definitely a thing. The Tarte one over here is made out of glass, and it feels a lot more hefty and heavy and kind of luxurious than this one, which is made out of plastic. It's a lot less lighter, very thoo, you know, that moment. Um, so just to kind of touch on that a little bit. Now, let's go ahead and zoom you guys in and we're going to go over swatches. Now, as I read in the description there, you can see here is the little moment and I know it's reflective, so it always has a hard time picking up on camera, but you can see this beautiful, it has a really nice component look to it, very sleek, very hourglass. And then as you remove that, there's actually this little like nubbin plastic moment. And I love that they did this, you guys. It comes comes out and it's basically a flat little disc with a tiny little nubble on it and that makes it so and then this is just me surmising it keeps the shadow packed down inside this little disc so here's the the cream you know the cream shadow or whatnot but you put this back down and this little nubbin actually reaches up and it is almost completely flush with the top of the uh, cap when it's on which means when you travel these are not going to bounce around and go crazy and shake up which is actually an issue that I had with the Tarte ones. If you have not heard me mention this, I did mention it in a video where I ordered one of these cream paint pots and it actually was like the black gray one. And it did not come like a lot of these Tarte ones. See, this is for me like a control issue with Tarte, not to go off on like a tangent. But some of their cream paint pots that I bought have come with this little like thing right here, very similar to the hourglass, so you can pick it off and there's your cream shadow. Well, the black one didn't have one of those and it showed up crumbled to hell. It was all over over the inside of the box it was all over everything and I contacted Tarte and they were like oh it's fine like it's okay if they're crumbly and I was like no you don't understand like it exploded all over my box and they were like no it's fine and I was like oh just I'm glad to know that that's fine but 
<laughs> I digress. All five of the ones that I picked up from Hourglass did have that, and I just thought that that was a great attention to detail because obviously knowing like this is this could be a quick, easy go-to staple for a lot of people. So why wouldn't you want it so you you know you can travel with it? And I feel like that is great, and it really makes it so if you ever have an issue and repressing is just made that much easier. I found that if you take like something like this that gets all crumbly, even the tart paint pots, you can take these little sealers that they put on here, these little discs. And I took a, um, like a bubble gum wrapper and I rolled it up and I put it in there really to just like pack it down and create the pressure. And then I squeezed that lid on there and I let it sit for like three days. And then when I took it back off, it kind of repressed itself, which I thought was really cool. So fun fact, if you have an issue uh, with your tart cream pot, I'm sorry, what, what? If you have an issue with your tart cream paint pots, that might be a good option. So now that I've blabbed, let's go ahead and get into the swatches portion of these. So the top shade up there is the shade Smoke. Then you have the shade Reflect, which is definitely the lightest of all five. It is, like, look at how beautiful champagne it is. It is lighter than Smoke by a hair. I would say that if you were to take this shade and mix it with a little bit of, like, a pewter color, you would have the top shade that we just did, Smoke. But this is the shade Reflect, and oh my god, like, I wonder what that looked look like as a highlight. Ooh. Up next, you have this pinky, beautiful shade. This is the shade Aura. Now, it is per it's written A-U-R-A. -A. I'm assuming that's Aura. At least that's what it looked uh, like in the dictionary phonetic spelling when I just looked it up. Um, also beautiful, though. The orange shade we have is the shade Blaze. Also super reflective, but I feel like... It's just, oh my god, like, can you see that for fall? Like, I look at that and I'm like, bitch, fall is coming. Fall is coming, bitch, fall is quaking. And then lastly, we have the gold shade Foil, which has a beautiful reflect to it, yet again. So, just as a comparison, I am going to put these up side by side here real quick. Um, so you can see these are some of the chrome paint pots, and these are the hourglass ones. So I am going to go through real quick and tell you what you're looking at on the chrome paint pot side. So right here, we have Park Ave Princess. Right here, we have Pot of Gold. This red guy right here is Fire Dancer. Up top, we have Beach Bay. Right down here, we have the shade Frosé. At the bottom down here, we have the ever-infamous Top Yacht, which is one of my all-time favorite shades. Stunning! And then right on the side over here, we have the shade Sun Drenched. So you can definitely see that there is a lot of beautiful, like, almost metallic reflect on this side. And I'm going to actually scooch myself back. So if you compare the two side by side, if I had to say, you know, one way or the other, I think you're actually looking at two very different aesthetics. I feel like this side, the, the tart side, is meant to be more bam, impactful, a lot more almost metallicized sheen. Where Oh my god, there's a mosquito. I could have been killed. There was a mosquito almost in my hair. Bitch, why aren't you dead yet? But as I was saying before I was brutally attacked, if you look on this side, the Tarte ones, I feel like they do have a much more metallicized, impactful sheen. Whereas on this side for the Hourglass, I think these are beautiful, but I feel like these are meant to give you that much more wearable, um, like, glitter, shimmer kind of moment. I feel like these are like the older, more mature, more sophisticated sister to the Top Yachts. And I also find that the, the shades actually are not that similar. I feel like... Hourglass actually kind of stopped right before making a shade really, really intense and all its own. Like, you look at these shades and you're like, yes, those are each very clear, very different, very distinct. Whereas if you look over here, they border on that more, like, soft, beautiful sheen. Like, these two are similar but different. I actually think that that's what I want to play with are those two on my lids today because I love them. And I feel like overall, theirs is just a much more soft version. So for a lot of people, and I have actually heard this mentioned before. Some people do not like these tart ones. They say that they're too much, that they're too youthful, or that they're too crazy kid looking for them. And a lot of, you know, say you're like 30s to 40s to 50s on up, you might not want or appreciate something that's this intense on your lid. You know, maybe you're going into a board meeting and you really don't want something that's that damn shimmery on your eyelids, but maybe you want something that still represents that inner sparkle, that inner fun, shimmer, what have you. I feel like these might be the route to go. So there's two things that I do want to mention or kind of jump into right before we do the eye look. The first thing is the presence of glitter. As they stated in the review, these ones do have fine little glitters in them and I do not think that they will show up on camera. 
I don't even think that that's in focus. Hopefully that's a little bit better. I'm trying to like hide my face, but these have a very fine amount of glitter in them. You can see it up close. Again, I don't think that it comes through on camera, but these ones, the ones that are from Tarte, they do not really have a super glittery presence. They are much more like sheen, solid, just straight gooey, yummy pigment, as opposed to these ones, which are like a nice mixture of a very refined glitter and that gooey yummy pigment. So that's number one. Number two, I wanna talk about the shapes of these containers because this kind of sucks for me. Um, and I'm just gonna be honest, I'm opening up one of the Hourglass and one of the Chrome Paint Pots by Tarte um, because if you have nails of any kind, this is going to matter to you. So these are the sizes of the components. These are the Hourglass, they are much more compact. They're gonna take up a little less room, as you can see, right, everything in that respect. However, my finger, even with a longer nail, I actually go get my nails filled very soon. So right now they are the longest that they would be, and I can fit into the Tarte one very comfortably with little to no issue. Granted, it is pretty full. Um, but now you look at the Hourglass one, Girl, that is not the case. Like, I can barely get the tip top of my finger in there and, like, move it around without digging my nail in. I actually did, on accident, dig my nail into two of these. So, as far as the size of the pan, I'm not, like, the biggest, most obsessed fan because if it's this full right here when it comes to you and I can barely get my finger in there, what are the odds that as it goes down and, you know, has less and less product in it that I will still have an easy time using it? Just saying, if you have shorter nails or no nails, that does not really apply to you, but something that uh, if you have them, you would definitely want to know. Why? You guys, maybe it's just me. I was so excited to see that they released these. I know it's just a first impression, but I was so excited because it's something different, and it's like, it's different from Hourglass, like they haven't done this before. Yes, I know Tarte has done it, but like, I don't know. I just get so excited when brands try new things. It makes me so happy. Now, I actually think for this eye look, because it's gonna be such a chill, more relaxed vibe, um, I'm gonna go in with this little guy. This is the Alamar Cosmetics little palette. A couple of you guys asked me about it because I do get BoxyCharm, and that's where this came from, and I have been playing with this and I'm actually really impressed with these shadows. They feel amazing. The mattes blend out really nicely and the shimmers are gorgeous. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I feel about these two blue shades as of the moment. I do feel like they have two very different textures but I think I'm just going to use the mattes in this palette to create a little crease because you girl you need a little crease before you can put down these little shimmers. Maybe I should play with the orange one because there's this beautiful matte orange shade in this palette that I think it would look really beautiful, like, kind of against. Let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to start, look at me, just changing my mind everywhere. So I'm going to start by going in with this deep matte brown here. This is the shade uh, Cafecito. Yeah, sure, we're going to go with that. And uh, that's the shade we're going to start with, and I'm actually going to end up blending that out with this Coco Taxi right over here. So I'm going to use those two shades and uh, blend out the crease. So let's do that. And I'm going in uh, first here with the Morphe Y15 brush. Alright, so I went ahead, I have this beautiful, like, sultry, dark moment, and to blend out that yellow, or the yellow, the orange shade on my outer right there, I did switch over to the Morphe Y17 brush, just FYI. So now, um, as you guys know, normally I take a glitter glue um, anytime I'm working with, like, a glittery type shadow. However, when I manipulate and use the chrome paint pots, I do not use a glue, a primer, anything like that, so I'm going to treat these the same way. They have that same feel. Again, those ones are more creamy feeling, but these are still creamy too. They're just a different type. So what I want to do is start off with the shade Reflect. That's the lightest shade I love. This is like like by far my favorite shade. Um, and I'm going to take this one and I want to concentrate it. I'm just going to take it on my finger here. And if I can get enough on my finger, which I barely can, I have to like, dee -dee 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 -dee. but I'm going to take this and put that into the inner corner. And I want this to be pretty relaxed looking. Um, I don't want it to be super, you know, intense. I don't want there to be any harsh lines. Um, otherwise, I would have done a cut crease. So I'm just going to take this and kind of pack it on. 
and see how opaque it is, how buildable it is, all that good stuff. That's a beautiful reflectant. Like, holy shnikes. That looks so pretty. It's also very, very subtle on my skin tone, so I think it would pop better on a deeper skin tone, just being 100% real. Now, let's take the shade Blaze, which is that orangey shade, and I'm just going to take that. I'll just wipe that other finger off, and I'm going to go into this shade and concentrate this color a lot more toward the middle and outer part of the eye just to see how it pop. Oh, my God. That is such... A beautiful color. I just added a second layer of the orange shade and I do feel like it built up beautifully on the lids and I actually decided I took that orange and kind of put it all over the entire lid and now I'm just gonna go in with that Y17 no product on it I'm just gonna blend the edges I think I want to keep this like this I don't want to go in and really deepen up the outer V I want to keep it like really nice and say, oh well, okay, I'm going to add a little bit of cafecito, just a little, little bit. There we go. Just a tiny, tiny bit, nothing crazy. I'm going to go back in with that first shade reflect and just kind of layer it up a little bit. So I think that it's beautiful. Um, it's definitely a much more like calm, sophisticated moment. And I feel like that orangey shade like look how intense it is on my finger versus how intense it is not on my eye that's a little bit disappointing um i want to try my glitter glue but i can't find my glitter glue oh i have nyx glitter glue i'll be right back <laughs> i'm back nyx glitter glue i want to take and pop a little bit of this down um on my lid back here where that orange shade is and then i want to try and pop this orange over top i really like for my own sanity i have to know if you can make this more intense because right now I'm kind of shocked that like I mean it's a beautiful sheen but like you can barely tell a difference between those two colors so I'm just taking some of this I'm just popping it right over top we're not even gonna care that much and the NYX glitter glue by the way is a great drugstore alternative to the Too Faced uh, glitter glue which I normally use but this stuff is so good I'm just taking a look at that now you can actually see what color it is that's excellent okay Wow Oh, my, I'm sorry, where have you been? Look, do you guys, okay, did anybody else see that? <laughs> like, come on, this time I really am taking it all over. Oh my gosh, that just made the difference right there. Oh, now that, that's what it's supposed to look like. Yes, I'm going to take a little bit more of that next glue now, and I'm going to put that on the inside, and I'm going to go over it a little bit with that reflex shade. So, you guys, I just sat here and I kind of tapped and blended and tapped and blended. And I feel like my only issue that I'm really having is that the orange, like, it's it goes on and even with the glue it looks really vibrant. But then it kind of almost fades and, like, that color isn't as impactful. I think it's gorgeous. I'm just, like, really, I'm kind of struggle bussing right now because I love those two colors. I think they fade beautiful. I think they look beautiful. But, like... I don't know why is it not more intense like even when I take it on my finger and I go in with a fresh little patch it looks intense but then in a minute that intensity kind of dies off I don't know maybe it's just me I'm gonna take that uh, again that Y17 there's no product on it I'm just blending out that edge I'm not gonna add any dark brown I actually really love like how just shimmery and beautiful that looks I think it looks gorgeous I do want to take a little bit of that reflect shade though and I want to take some of it on a little brush and try to see what it looks like as a brow bone highlight because it's a stunning freaking shade okay it's literally not like sticking to my brush what is happening I don't hate it but it's not popping like I feel like it didn't highlight it gave it like a beautiful white sheen but it didn't like pop you know what I mean Definitely couldn't use it as a highlight on the face like I was hoping. I almost feel like these would be... Okay, you know what? Actually, let me let me go ahead. I'm going to finish up my face, and then I'm going to give you my final thoughts. Otherwise, I'm going to just sit here and be, like, bewildered, and I don't want to keep doing that, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So, real quick, I think to wrap this up, I think the best thing that I could say about these is that um, I need to work with them a little bit more. My hair is, like, 
it's got these little ripples and it's driving me nuts but i feel like these are a great option for someone who is trying to have like a little bit more of a like minimalistic sheen i think that they look pretty i think they sit nicely all of that stuff now while i was doing my other makeup i did look at both lids just to see how they were holding up and i noticed that both sides i did this side on camera with you guys which of course was a little bit more layered from no glue to adding a glue but then on this side i went in with just glitter glue first and then you know continue to lay these down and I noticed that both sides were actually kind of creasing and getting patchy which I thought was a little bit odd so I'm definitely gonna have to play around with these a little bit more I'm gonna try them with different bases to see if maybe that's the issue as I've told you guys before I have super inhospitable lids so anytime something like doesn't work on my lids I'm not you know that upset about it but with that being said I feel like these are a decent product now do I think that they deliver the same uh, types of like qualities that the Tarte Paint Pots do no I feel like these are more intense more BAM one swipe these are just a lot more user-friendly in my opinion than the hourglass ones but I think the hourglass ones also kind of cater to a different aesthetic I feel like the hourglass ones are better for that more sophisticated sheen like I talked about before so you know honestly these ones I'm not gonna say that they 100% get my stamp of approval I know in the past uh, a lot of you guys have said that some of your favorite qualities about me are that I am honest and that I don't love everything because that's super freaking irritating and for me I'm not gonna say that I love these not because they're more sophisticated but just because of the way they're sitting on my eyes so again for me they're not a home run they're not approved I'm not saying that I'm definitely gonna have to work with them a little bit more I would love to hear from you guys if you've tried them swatch them what your thoughts are or even from like your guys' standpoint what you think about how they sat on my lid how they looked and all that stuff like I'm getting up close right now and I think that they do look really beautiful up close and and you know they're they're nice they're shiny they're luxurious they do look beautiful but I'm just weighing like the little bit of extra cost because these are seven more dollars than the paint pots do I like the look, the feel, that, all of, you know, there's just so many different elements for stuff like this. So I definitely feel like if you love the look of a Tarte Paint Pot, I don't think that you will like these. Because again, they don't carry that individual sheen. Those ones, you swipe them, you know what color it is. It goes to the lid. It is bam, intense, and just whoa. And these ones, they just don't have that quality. So I feel like if you love the Tarte Paint Pots, these might not be for you. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Are we traveling? Oh, we were starting to travel, bitches. All right, so you guys, that is it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it, that it was helpful. Let me know down below what your thoughts are. Do you like them? Do you not? Have you played with them? Do you want to play with them? All of that good stuff. And uh, I feel like my lash is like sticking to something it shouldn't be. Oh my God. Ah. Don't you ever feel like one of your lashes is like like pulling you down? Like it's, it's attaching to a lash on the bottom or something? I don't know. You guys have a great day, night, weekend. Whatever it is when you're watching this, I'll see you in the next one. Check the description box and all that good stuff. We check the hourglass, we check the hourglass. What do we think? Jerry's still a little bit out, but I look so pretty. I look so fancy, that's what I feel like. I feel like they make me look damn fancy. Fancy. I have swatched... I'm sorry, what? Now, I have went ahead on both sides of my hands here. Um, I swatched all five of the ones hourglass, hourglass, blah, blah. Swatches. Swatches. I don't know what the hell that was. I got so excited. <laughs> As I said in the description, though, um, the what, what was I saying? Who am I? What was I saying? You're not my real dad. So first we are shard... St We're sharding? I'm sorry. Do you own a muffler? No? Okay, cool. Do, I'm, I swear to God, between the mosquito and that car. Hmm. There are two more things that I wanted to note before we kind of dump, dump it. Oh my God.